So I need to rush a little bit because I need to catch up the train. Sorry. Uh, so at the end, hopefully, no questions. If yes, please tweet me. Uh, you keep, yeah, really. So the tweet handles at the end. So today is my topic: Green uh, uh, Team Redis and Magento. Uh, why? Uh, many of you use Redis, uh, and I'm not, I'm not sure if you know what Redis does and uh, how to debug some miscommunication between uh, Magento and Redis, and it happens sometimes. So uh, I'm David Schumann, and uh, I'm from Max Tesla Hosting Company. So that's why I know some uh, more issues than you probably, because we have one or ten shops, and I got a little bit more problems. So. Okay, so that's all the skydiving. I, I want to share a little bit more about this event, but I have no time. So probably what is uh, this uh, agenda to all of you? I talk like about uh, what is Redis to propose, the requirements. Uh, there's pro and cons in Redis. Also the configuration and important comments that you need for Redis. And at the end, together Redis with Magento, you probably know the extensions, but still uh, there are some important parameters at the end. Okay, what is the Redis? Uh, Redis is a remote dictionary server, it's developed by Salvatore Antires San Filippo. Uh, <laughs> the first version was in April 2009. Uh, <coughs> at the moment, the stable version is uh, at 3.2.3, uh, since uh, August this year. And uh, the good part is uh, everything is open source. Uh, what is Redis? Uh, at the end, it's a key value store, uh, so they call it in memory database. Um, there are some uh, data types special, so like string, hash, list. Um, Redis, uh, it's, yeah, go in the category uh, no SQL. Uh, Redis can uh, save the data persistent, have also a master slave uh, <coughs> possibility of application. The, tra the transactions are also uh, automated, it's really, uh, really interesting. At the end, uh, if you would like to debug your Wireshark or whatever, uh, ask your base protocol. Uh, so requirement for Redis from the Magento side uh, for the cache. So the good uh, part on Magento is you can generate the cache. So if you lose the cache, you can regenerate it. So uh, it's good. Performance is important in this case because we can re regenerate it. So if you lose some uh, some data, it's not a problem at all. Uh, and to hold the data probably in the RAM because um, your storage is slow. Um, we don't lo uh, love this. Uh, for the Magento sessions, it's also possible to use Redis. Uh, yeah, it's not allowed to, uh, to lose any session data because you know everyone is there are the cards, and cards are money, and you don't uh, want to lose money. Um, also, persistence uh, is important because if something with the server happened, like a reboot or kernel panic, sometimes happened. So you have, like in my uh, MySQL database. Uh, the data on uh, on the uh, on the disk, and important. Many uh, of you maybe uh, forget this. It's possible to mi migrate the session data from MySQL or file session system to the Redis. And I get uh, later to this. Okay. So what provides uh, Redis special uh, uh, good stuff for us is uh, the tag support. Uh, you know, tags is to taking uh, the product sites at the end. So uh, the file system doesn't have this. I have. Uh, Later, a small, ugly table. The next slide. So the good part is, so we don't need to uh, flush the whole cache. So only parts, like five or six entries, uh, and we generate only this part. Uh, Redis has also persistent memory only, so everything is uh, in the RAM. Uh, snapshotting, like every one hour, you can uh, uh, yeah, save the data to the storage, or uh, append only. <laughs> we did. Uh, we don't use that. Anymore. Okay, sorry, this is Joe, but it's pro and cons. I don't I saw this wrong. Okay. So, uh, file system is, yeah, it's out of the box, but no tank support. You have the I.O. performance. Still with uh, SHD, it's fast, but <laughs> it's uh, not so fast. And, as a host, I hate this, please, uh, set up your crons. Uh, probably because um, if you have session data from 2014, and there are 3 million small files in the file system, so Unix hates this. So it's the delete com if, if you uh, use a uh, wrong delete command, it takes days to delete that files. With the right one, it takes minutes. But still, please uh, <coughs> use a cron job from uh, Magento. MySQL is also uh, default uh, available. And uh, it, um, yeah, 
The good part is uh, the tech support, bad performance, and uh, the database load goes high. You, we don't like this. You can do this. This is the first step to test how, how your application feels uh, with a uh, shared uh, session. But uh, yeah, it doesn't help because you don't. You, you can. You heard it before. You can scale a database really, really easy. It's really complicated, and you don't want. Okay, then we have also memcached. It's also an in-memory database. Uh, has a good per uh, performance, but no tech support. Maxim uh, maximum ob object size. This is for clean Magento, so pure uh, Magento, not a problem. But you know, there are some like uh, mana dev, layer and filter stuff, and the objects can be bigger than memcached. So that's uh, in the pro uh, at the end a problem. Uh, yes, no replication at the end. <coughs> and our winner for this presentation so far is Redis. In memory performance tech support, you can have more uh, databases possible per instant. Can uh, start more instant. Um, persistent master state replication. I show you, it's really really easy. Um, easy backups. Memcache compatible at the end. More data pays. And one negative, it's only single threaded. It's really important. That's why I can only say you if you use Redis, set up one Redis instance per session and one for <coughs> for, uh, for the cache because if the cache is really huge and you uh, flush the cache, at that time uh, the Redis uh, stops to to get new new commands in. So he wait, it's in the queue until the delete command is done. So you don't want this in the session or in the opposite in the other one. So start two instances uh, minimum if you use them uh, in your life of production system. Uh, normally if you, if you use uh, Unix, you know this uh, configuration file, there's Redis. Uh, I don't talk much because you have not so much time, but what I didn't know before I uh, make the presentation is, maybe you know if you use MySQL and you want to adjust some par parameters and you can do this on the fly. Uh, I didn't know that before, it's also possible in Redis. And at the end, if you have the proper uh, like root user's permission, you can easily write your temporary driven uh, configuration, configuration uh, to the file system. In this case, uh, I was a customer, so it's uh, denied, but uh, probably it's easy to, to get in place. Okay, configuration. What's important? Um, I have many slides of this, but I will skip some uh, really fast. So normally, uh, Redis uh, doesn't run as a daemon, so no background process. So if you start and you you close your PuTTY or uh, uh, SSH uh, connection, so it's, it's it's gone. So you need to say yes, it's a daemon in the background. A uh, PID file, a uh, port numbers is uh, important if you get more than one server. So you want to uh, have uh, two or three <coughs> web nodes to, to this one Redis uh, instance. So you need to, to set a port. <coughs> if not, uh, Default, default behavior is uh, to use a socket. It's even faster. So if you only once, if you have one big server, everything on it, so you use the socket. It's uh, it's faster. You don't have the overhead. It's yet. So um, yeah, if you want to open Redis uh, into your private network, please only the private network, not the whole internet, like Elasticsearch and MongoDB. All of this is <coughs> it's dangerous. Um, so there's a bind, there's a Unix circuit I told you, and uh, maybe of, uh, many of you may be connected via a PuTTY or something to the uh, MySQL. Uh, and sometimes if you don't, you doesn't type in or go grab a coffee and it's a timeout, you get out. So that is the same uh, timeout uh, parameter in the red. So if you do nothing, you you get uh, disconnected in some time. Yeah, keep it alive. Okay, you can set uh, databases. Uh, normally, default uh, is um, yeah, the 16 in the end. So uh, and you start with zero, like in PHP. The index is zero. So if I have 16, so I have zero to 15. It's really important. Why you can set this? You can yeah, if you have like a <coughs> recipe pie, not so much um, RAM, whatever, you can slide it down. You don't need it, uh, and uh, better overview. And if you're crazy enough, you can also uh, lock everything what Redis does. It's not important for us for Magento and Redis communication in this case. 
But if you have the feeling that you lose some data at some point, you have the, the normal uh, possibilities to uh, adjust the logging at, at some point. Then one uh, <coughs> important stuff is persistent in the end, so uh, there is a save command, and there are seconds and changes. So that's from the main page. Uh, you can read it if, uh, quite enough, but it's really important to understand the seconds and change. So if I put here like <coughs> 50 minutes and one change, it's an end, not or. It's an end operator. So if in 50 minutes is one change, I write. If some side is false, he don't write this to the storage. It's very important and confusing sometimes. Then you can uh, give the <coughs> Database filing, uh, it's important for backups, if you uh, use duplicity or your host are made backups, you adjust this parameter at the end. And max memory, because uh, if you don't set it probably, back like varnish or patchy, you took everything at the end, in this case. <coughs> also there's some uh, purging policies at the end uh, that uses max memory set kind of it. But normally this is good, really good value. I didn't see any uh, magenta in sense right now, or by now, uh, that hits this limit in some kind of, because if your Magento Crown works properly, everything like smooth, you don't hit this limit at all. <coughs> important, uh, important stuff for you, if you have a Magento, it's like info, you get the version number, what, what's your configuration at the end, you can save the data. More <coughs> better is background save, so where this <coughs> Uh, spawn a process, the second one, and uh, yeah, saves uh, to, to the file system and the, uh, the main start running. Monitoring, if you like, <coughs> matrix. You see also connection set, pass set is run really fast. <coughs> the good thing is, Redis CLI, you can pipe all the stuff to, like, you can use grab or put the output in, into the file <coughs> and uh, work with later. Really confusing is to set the uh, to go to the databases is a select in the index number, so select zero without semicolon, you know, my spell and stuff, forget it, semicolon. <coughs> Important is a flash DB, so if you select one database, you can flash this one, or if you're crazy enough, or um, you know there is no session data inside, you can make flash all, and all database data is gone. Again, German, damn! Sorry for this. So this is uh, like uh, how uh, replication works. And on one side, basically uh, connect to the master, send a sync command. There's other many commands. Uh, master starts with the back background save, so, uh, saves the data uh, on, on, the, on the storage. Pro then transfer to the slave. The slave <coughs> has this on the storage. The instance reloads, so read the file at the end. Uh, in the meantime, the master keeps the changes and there's some temporary stuff and sends the rest of a slower connection. And it's there, it's, it needs some time, so three or four seconds. Emit <coughs> with 200 MB only register. It's not my secret, it's not so efficient. But uh, if it's done, you're, you're live and you have a really good slave. And the cool stuff is with one command, you can make the slave to the master. Uh, if the other one dies, uh, it's really fast, it's uh, milliseconds, it's there, it's, uh, yeah. and you can do it, uh, you really use it um, at uh, my cluster to migrate stuff internally from one cluster to the other one, so the downtime goes really <coughs> to a minimum, like five minutes, because the sessions are on the other cluster the whole time. Okay, if you would like to, uh, yeah, I have some more time, so if you uh, like to debug in Redis, Info monitoring slow log is uh, the same like uh, MySQL. And yeah, here we go. Uh, Magento. Um, you know the extension cache uh, backend Redis from Colin, and also um, uh, yeah, this cache, and here's the Redis extension. They size uh, 1.8 they are included in the Magento, but uh, I would suggest you that you. Um, go to the GitHub and get every time the news. <coughs> There's some small adjustment 
Also, there was a problem, uh, problem one year ago with uh, Magento, uh, Magento PHP 5.6 and FPM. Some uh, crazy behavior with sessions. <coughs> so, um, yeah, so that's only for, uh, for this stuff. Hopefully you know how to uh, install uh, the extension with Modman because it's really easy. Uh, I don't explain this in my slides because we're all advanced here. Hopefully you can see it. Um, yeah, what you need to do is say at the end if you install the extension in the config file. I don't go to, through all of them. Uh, really interesting is um, one customer installed Warnish and they call us and uh, tell, uh, tell us uh, the site goes slow, slower than before. It's like, okay, if you varnish, probably it's, you expect the site to go faster, right? So um, I tried to explain you what the, the issue was and how I come to this because it's really interesting and I, did, I didn't know that. So first, okay, host is like if you use TCP or not the socket, so this is a connection, that we know that. Password is like if you use a password in this. So really important is this timeout. Uh, timeout and for this case, I don't see that. Ah, oh, here we go. Logging and another parameter, three parameters. Okay, break after front tries. So this is like retries. Okay, so we have a timeout. So Magento waits 2.5 uh, seconds um, until Redis uh, uh, answer. If not, uh, the Redis uh, client, so Magento, uh, tries this maximum five times. And um, if not, uh, if, if this is zero, uh, then you have no locking, so no problems. But if you like locks, so that's. Um, uh, looks up if the log is and wait until so. In the worst case, the customer has uh, set up this uh, own configuration. Uh, the Redis client waits 30 seconds, and after that, Magento fall back to the normal session file system and give the uh, the branch the, the new session. So um, how you get there? So you you know that it's like Redis Magento communication. <coughs> First of all, the log level. Uh, it's cut it here, but you, you know, go to the GitHub, it's, it's commented in. And if you set it higher, it's really crazy, I don't know why, and uh, I'm too, I didn't have time, science one year, to fill out a pull request. Um, normally you find this in var log redis underscore session dot log. But the extension don't create a file, I don't know why. So you need to touch or create a file, an empty file, and then the data comes in. Um, and the good part is it's readable, it's human readable, so it's like I try to connect to this one, and oh, I got a locking from this process, and we try, so you, you see what, what happened and why it happened. So the problem was uh, by the customer, he had uh, used easy tags and tried to get eight times per request uh, the form key. So uh, yeah, so eight sessions and it's some time, uh, and um, yeah, the requests block each other. So it was stupid bug in the end on the front end, but uh, we can solve that. Uh, yeah, we we, so, uh, we solved it uh, logging zero, and after one or two weeks, uh, customer make an update on the front end, and uh, the issue was gone. At the end. So uh, yeah, so. Please use the log file at the end. Um, how to migrate uh, the stuff? Um, because we are, yeah, we got also many migrations. It's really easy. It's like your kids can do. If you have kids, <coughs> your kids can do. Like uh, migrate sessions. Uh, it's, uh, if you use Modman, it's, it's linked there. Um, you can test this before. So uh, the script reads all the sessions and write to uh, Redis. That's all. Also the same with database, so you need uh, to uh, inside there the credentials, <coughs> and uh, it's worked perfect. So without doubt, you can use it for 100% sure. So far, no problems at all. We don't lose any data. <coughs> um, <coughs> what we do also is uh, this from the introduction of the slides. What we also do is in probably hopefully you do this. This is in German, but I explain a lot. We check. We have a tool to check the performance 
So this is like Redis cache is not installed, it's quite red. Uh, Redis session module is installed and it used, so it's green. <coughs> and Magento logs, we don't... Man, it's good to have logs at some point, but if you're alive, like a month or two, uh, you can turn off the, uh, the, the logging. Because many customer logs, notices, warnings, and they don't care, so the, the file system is every time is used. So you can, uh, this, this is why red, because uh, Magento logs are on. Flat tables, you heard it before, it's good if you it's on. Uh, okay, it's for compiler, and uh, in our case, we check uh, also if the customer use uh, varnish, but it's uh, nothing to do with um, that's that. Okay, one, one thing is, uh, yeah, I skip that one. So at the end, you have, um, you have uh, Magento and Redis together. Uh, it's really easy uh, at the end, and the logging, you know, the log file. Uh, log level is really important at the end, and also I would like to show you two good configuration for the outside communication. So if you don't use the socket, so first time is only to bind to localhost if you use TCP something. So you don't need to care about this. It's like a no default one. It's really good, but if you like to <coughs> like to communicate outside, you need to bind to to zero 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 to everyone to, or your IP. On the server, and that's really. Please, heard this. <laughs> please. You you have the choice, or bo you do both. Set a password, or use IP tables, or both password and IP tables. So uh, no uh, nobody from outside can connect to your this stuff. Important is if you uh, have a password. Redis CLI is really crazy as a stuff. So. Redis uh, looks like you can connect without, so you know my MySQL uh, want a password before you connect. Redis, Redis CLI let you connect, but if you try to uh, set, um, yeah, execute a command, uh, Redis told you I, I need a password. So it's like, yeah, only for testing if, if you, if you uh, don't know that. And yes, please uh, use uh, some firewall, IP tables as a Unix tool at the end. Uh, so, because the people scan a lot, you know, security, Talish, uh, talk about it before, um, please uh, look out. So, probably there was uh, really, really fast uh, through the slides, uh, 22 minutes, my new record <laughs> with the slides. Uh, yeah, and Max Lester, we talked about it one hour, because more details and more slides at the end. Um, what I can tell you is, yeah, sorry, no, no question at all. But here is my Twitter name, so uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter me your questions, I try to answer you. You can make uh, yes, uh, a picture if you don't know me. It's a shame if you don't know my name. Oh, Tanish, yeah, okay, one question, come on. Third question, just a comment. It's easy to get past um, firewalls sometimes when it's IP based. So you should just do both. Okay. Password and firewall. Yeah, you can, you can do both, so you're yeah. pretty safe, yes. Yeah, I was yeah. going to ask you this. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and for you all is that... <coughs> what is the best option to flush, flush uh, when it is uh, cache? Cache on uh, with living sessions? Flash. In living sessions? Yeah. You don't want to, to flush your sessions? Yeah. Why do you want it? Uh, Redis, oh, you, oh, sorry, I skipped one slide. Okay, one well, second. So this is, sorry, John, I, but there is uh, some, um, <coughs> some algorithm, <coughs> so they, um, go over uh, every connection they run and they see okay this session is like 40 days old and the time to live is like only 10 days or 10 hours whatever so they delete it so you don't need to delete the old sessions redis makes this for you because every entry in the key, uh, every key has a time to live at the end and there are some algorithms i, I skip that because they're uh, yeah i need to talk a little bit more to be safe that you get it now but there's uh, Okay, one set. Don't use this one because no eviction is like do nothing. So the memory goes up, um, the memory is full, and Redis gives you an error back. But who checks the Redis answer? Nobody. The client, Redis client, don't check the answer is something uh, wrong. So you probably lose every uh, new session. So there's some uh, uh, algorithm. Uh, 
basically the, this one is uh, the default one and you have no problems to clean up. So if you read this, you don't need to care about the, the, the values inside. This is a good part. Okay, and because you are also passionate with me and uh, know so many questions, thanks for it, you get all the certificates. Uh, so if you are in Nux, <laughs> if you want to change your job in the CV, you can uh, write your expert in no SQL. So, um, yeah, thanks, that's all, and uh, enjoy the, the last sessions. <laughs>